Hello, and welcome to Day 41, Becoming Peace Guided Meditation and Inspiration. The name of today's session is Week 6 in Review. Today, we're revisiting and unpacking all the goodies we experienced in Week 6. This channel is a faith-based rest stop for your soul, a place you can visit any time to lay down your heavy burdens and take in some much-needed peace. I hope it inspires you to not just feel peace, but move to a place of actually becoming peace, where peace is who you are. Make sure you have a notebook and a pen close by in case you choose to record any thoughts, impressions, and incoming inspirations you might have as you meditate today. Grab your notebook and a pen and your essential oil bottle. If you'd like a deeper meditative experience, use essential oils in your meditation. This week, we used doTERRA's Peace, the reassuring blend. What a combo of mint and floral scents. It includes vetiver, lang lang, lavender, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, labdanum, and spearmint. I think God gave us our senses as tools to process our world and learn to self-soothe in times of stress. So, let's slow down, take a deep breath in, and out. Good. Make sure you're sitting comfortably in a chair or on the floor. Rest your feet comfortably with your head free. Close your eyes and continue deep breathing. Enjoy floating deep inside your soul for answers today. When you quiet the mind, you're opening up the channel for God to communicate with you at a deeper level level. Take a deep breath in. Hold and out. Release. Way. Again. Deep breath in. Way. Good. How does the phrase, let it go, resonate with you? Just let it go. Let it go. Hmm. I'm not feeling convinced. How on earth am I just supposed to let it go? Let go of hurt feelings. Let go of heartache. When someone betrays you and even abuses you, It's not so easy to simply let things go after such pain and suffering. On day 36 and day 37, we went on a deep dive moving from letting things go to allowing things to pass. For the longest time, I haven't been successful when I thought of letting go of the mean, vindictive things that others have done to me. I didn't even know how to let things go. So I took the question to God and I asked Him, How am I supposed to do this? He gently answered, With a process I'm going to share with you now. Imagine your body becomes a large screen from your head to your toes. Your best friend, Jesus Christ, has just now joined you. He is standing directly behind you, and he asks you to allow the darkness and the hurts to be released and pressed through the screen. The most amazing miracle happens here. Jesus takes all the black, ugly tar which is inside of you and takes it himself as you press your ugly black darkness through your screen. 
He asks you to trust Him that through the atonement, He takes your scars and sins and turns them white as snow. He continues encouraging you to keep pressing the blackness through you to allow these things to pass. With him as a trusted companion, you can now release and allow these things to pass. And as they pass through you, you treasure the things you learned along the way because they become important lessons you hold and cling to. Jesus has such a wonderful way of turning hard things into blessings. Moving on to day 38, we got to experience a deep connection to God through song. It is He. Praising Him through song and deepening our connection with Him as we recognized it's He who first loved us, creating us in His image, and gives us the opportunity to grow as we move through Mortality. Follow the sound of my voice and imagine for the next few minutes you get to just sit quietly and comfortably at the feet of your Father in heaven. His arms are lovingly wrapped around you. The peace, love, acceptance, joy, and safety are so present you can almost reach out and touch it. Stay here in the silence with God. Ancient Father of my soul Whose voice is in the wind Hallowed be thy name From before the dawn Truth became the word, even the great I am. See the planets roll upon their wings as he moves in glorious majesty.
Day 39, we considered a one-liner definition of faith. It helped make having faith clear and serves as a concise measuring stick of how well we're doing at having faith. This definition, I have to admit, was one of the best I've ever heard and resonated at a deep level. When I think of the details of how to actually have faith, I've often wondered, what am I supposed to do or know or think to have more faith? This definition cut through all that like a hot knife through butter. It's not faith if you have anything else to rely on but God. It's not faith if you have anything else to rely on but God. How do you show God you rely on only Him? And moving on to day 40, We listed two of your unique qualities, such as enthusiasm and creativity. Go ahead and get your notebook and make notes if this is the first time you've done this exercise. If not, just go ahead and ponder the things that you wrote in day 40. The second step was to list one or two ways you enjoy expressing those qualities when interacting with others, such as support and to inspire. Moving to step three, Assume the world is perfect right now. What does this world look like? How is everyone interacting with everyone else? What does it feel like? Write your answers as a statement in the present tense describing the ultimate condition, the perfect world as you see it and feel it. Remember, A perfect world is a fun place to be. Here's an example. Everyone is freely expressing their own unique talents. Everyone is working in harmony. Everyone is expressing love. The next step is to combine the three prior steps into one paragraph or one single statement. Here's an example. My purpose is to use my creativity and enthusiasm, that was step one, to support and inspire others to freely express their talents in a harmonious and loving way. And once you've determined and written down your life purpose, read it every day. Let's come back now. Continue deep breathing, and when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. Keep breathing in and out. Good. Today's journal prompt is, am I willing to let Jesus 
take my suffering That which is of God is light, and he that receiveth light and continueth in God receiveth more light, and that light groweth brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Peace comes when we take the time to tune into the frequencies of God. Well, coming to a close, we've come through over 40 days together in this transformative process of making space and time for God in our lives. Please share this video with someone you think would enjoy this experience. Also, please check the show notes below for lots of great information along with this week's suggested music track. Sea of Tranquility by Winslow Farr. Be sure to acknowledge yourself for showing up and doing something good for you today. And remember, the secret to life is really simple. Take in just a little more light today than you did yesterday. Bye for now.